Welcome to Carolina Week Sports. I'm Brandon Curry reminding Maryland and all those other schools that when you win, you storm the court. When we win, we yawn and eat a sandwich. There would be no impact on the conference tournament seedings and probably no effect on the national standings win or lose. But anytime Carolina plays Duke, especially in basketball, it's a big game. When Duke and North Carolina meet, you never can tell what to expect. But one thing you can always count on is a fight. The undefeated Devils cruised to a seven-point lead early in the first half. This certainly helped. The Blue Devils converted Carolina turnovers into Duke twos. The Tar Heels came clawing back in the second half, using defensive stops like this and taking advantage of fast break opportunities like this. Junior Erlena Larkins dominated the glass, pulling down a career-high 19 boards. Late in the second with the heels within one, Abby Wehner extends the Duke lead to three. The Devils sealed the deal from the line, stealing any hope of a Carolina victory. They're definitely better than anybody expected. <laughs> better than ever before. And just completed the first undefeated home season in school history. With a Sunday 67-62 win, the Blue Devils are perched at the top. But Coach Sylvia Hatcher says don't count out the heels just yet. Maybe that light just hadn't come on yet. And if that light comes on, then look out. In Durham, I'm Deshaun Brown, Carolina Week Sports. The men's team went a little farther up the road. The heels faced off against the Maryland Terrapins, looking to hold on to first place in the ACC. Wayne, Ellen, Wayne Ellington found his touch early draining a couple of threes and this basket right here by Thompson put the heels up by 13 but Maryland fought back strong on the boards. The Terps trailed by only three at the half. Carolina's big men came out strong in the second but Maryland wouldn't give up taking the lead right here. With time running out Carolina had the ball in their hands but Brandon Wright couldn't finish. Maryland stuns Carolina 89 to 87. The undefeated UNC baseball team continued its winning ways during a three-game series against Stony Brook this weekend. The Heels dominated the Seawolves in the opening game on Friday. Senior pitcher Robert Woodard allowed only three hits and one run in six innings. He becomes just the fifth pitcher in Tar Heel history to reach 25 career wins. At the plate, the Heels notched 12 hits against the Seawolves pitching staff. Junior left fielder Reed Frank had four hits, including this two-run homer in the sixth inning. Carolina wins 9-1. to one. And Saturday, it was a double header, and the Seawolves acted more like sea puppies. Ha! The heels showed excellent base stealing and field work with not one, but two double plays in the first game alone. Here's one of them right now. Freshman outfielder Tim Fredoff went four for six and hit this career home run during game one. Oh, his first career home run. The Heels outscored the Seawolves 17-4 in a double-header sweep. Friday, the women's lacrosse team welcomed the less-than-mighty Oregon Ducks. It was a long night for the Ducks. Number 28 right here, Jess Allen, putting it in for the first goal of the night. Next up, it's Meg Freshwater. who, With precision, precision passing, Christina Dress, who puts it in, she had two for the night. Oregon was only able to put one in during the first half, and here it is, and they are excited. But this is my favorite play right here, the favorite play of the night. The Heels showing why they're number one. Jen Russell blazes past everyone and scores right here. That goal took 10 seconds. Heels win 16 to four. On Saturday, the men's lacrosse team looked to win its first home game of the regular season, taking on the University of Denver. Here's Ben Hunt take, turning on the Jets to get around that defender, shoots, and gets the goal. I got some more moves to show you. Michael Burns weaving through defenders for another goal. And then just a few minutes later, Ryan Walterhofer gets a breakaway, charges downfield, fires, boom, another goal. The Heels survived a pioneer comeback in the third quarter to win 11 to eight. And attacker Matthias McCall says the Heels are, are used to clutch wins. You know guys, it's disappointing to lose in basketball when you're dominating in lacrosse and baseball. Not too bad. <laughs> Yeah, but hopefully, I mean, good thing we have some of the season left, right? Definitely. Thanks, Brandon.
Thanks a lot, Brandon. Okay, so Jess, you know, we've all seen those movie stunts that make us stop and go, okay, whoa, wait a second, how do they do that? Yeah, we have, and guess what? We have our own stunt people right here at UNC. Coming up, we'll show you a few UNC students who have all the right moves.